how to connect SQL databases to different programming languages. In this lesson, describe about database connectivity between Microsoft Visual C Sharp and Microsoft SQL Server. In this lesson contains description about the Microsoft Visual C Sharp. To use Microsoft Visual C Sharp design goals, versions, simple C Sharp Windows form application which is connected with the SQL Server. Microsoft Visual C Sharp Microsoft Visual C Sharp is a programming environment used to create graphical user interface GUI applications for the Microsoft Windows family of operating systems. It usually ships in either by itself or as part of Microsoft Visual Studio. C Sharp pronounced C Sharp is a multi paradigm programming language encompassing inquisitive functionally generic object oriented class based and component oriented programming disciplines. To use Microsoft Visual C Sharp, you have to install the Microsoft Visual Studio. You can free download Microsoft Visual Studio from Microsoft website. Design goals. C Sharp language is intended to be a simple, modern, general purpose object oriented programming language. C Sharp gives the strong type checking and array bound checking. C Sharp support for internationalization is very important. Versions of C Sharp C Sharp 1.0 C Sharp 2.0, C Sharp 3.0, and C Sharp 4.0. Now I am creating the small application using the C Sharp language, which is connected with the SQL Server. First, you have to open the Microsoft Visual Studio 2018 in the Start menu. You have to open the new project. File, new, project. You have to select Visual C Sharp and you have to select Windows Form application and give the particular name. And click OK. I am going to create a small application go to toolbox you have to take a one button 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 one you have to rename as save and you have to change the ID of the button you have to see that you have to take a two text boxes one text box name We have to take the two labels. First name.
and last name. Earlier, I have created the new database called PLDC1. PLDC1. And I have created the new query create table student. The table name called student and attribute first name and last name. You can view your database to the Serve Explorer. Then you can go your form and double click on the save button. Go to the save click button event. You have to type this It will give the .NET framework data provide for SQL Server. Then you have to give, go to the have a button click event. Then you have to create a, within the bar, save button SQL connection object representing a unique session to a SQL server data source. This is the data source. This is my database name PLDC1. You must use integrated security as true. You have to create the SQL data adapter DA equal new SQL adapter. This is the create the select command. I have created the insert command insert into student values at first name and last name first name and last name are attribute of the my student table then this is the add parameters for the select command you are passing the first name and last name using char also you are passing the text variable to the text box it goes to the our database table then connection has open the da.insert command execute non query means is pass connection string and query string that is translate sql insert statement in this sample this is the my table name and this is the attributes then text variable passed to the my first person txt underscore first name dot text passed to the first name attribute another one passed to the last name the coding part is okay then go to form view it means design view you have to debug this application then you can type any text tldc last name tl tldc and click save button then you can go to our database and can run the query you can see the result first name as a PLDC last name as a PLDC 